Y'all yeah. what, man? One <laughs> Chicago. That's what we've been pushing around. Yes, sir. Chicago. Yes, sir. So, all right, I'm gonna switch a little gears real quick. Okay. I'm gonna ask this question. All right. So, what's up with you and Chemo, man? I seen that y'all started out. I didn't do my research. I asked a few a lot because I'm a journalist at the end of the day. And I yes, asked sir. a few people. Um, what's the relationship with them like? What's going on with that? I got some feedback, but I'm never gonna put it out there unless I get it from the horse's mouth. Yeah. So what's going on with y'all? So I'm just give you everything. I'm gonna be a hundred with you. Okay. Um. So when me and Chemo first start hanging with each other, um, I was like, I was like Chemo, back up. You know what I'm saying? He was like Batman, and I was like Robin. You know what I'm saying? So what I mean by that was as far as the bopping scene before it really got to where it was, you know, they they really only knew Chemo. He was the first one making bop videos. He was the first one going crazy, getting hella views and going everywhere and just turning up, you know what I'm saying? And King Louie videos and all that, that stuff really helped him. You feel me? Um, So... Like, yeah, he was the first one making the videos, put him on the internet. People started paying attention to him, you know what I'm saying? And he created his own little movement. So how I came about, I started this group called Team Fiesta. It was a um, dance group, you know, 200, 300 kids together every day dancing. Every, just all everywhere dancing. We had American flag bandanas and we was dancing. So by me doing that and me was being, I was, I was good at bopping. People like started to like pay attention to me, so um, with chemo, me and him started to get cool. A lot of stuff happened with Team Fiesta, and everybody's kind of like stopped being Team Fiesta. So, bopping still was at its peak. You know what I'm saying? It was just fresh. So it, chemo was getting booked for shows. You know what I'm saying? I was going with him. He was getting paid, and I was dancing with him. I wasn't getting paid. Chemo was doing. All type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, and I do, and I do give him credit for even allowing me to come and be around and, and dance with him, cause that also helped me get a little out of me too, you know what I'm saying. So we was doing all that, but I never tripped, cause I really, I, I really cared about him. Like that was my brother, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, you know my situation, so it wasn't a lot of niggas out here. I was calling brother, or I can really, you know what I'm saying. I'm sleeping at the nigga crib, you know what I'm saying. The nigga was sleeping at my crib. We was like like blood brothers so um so it got to a point where it got to a point where i started making my own videos you know saying i started posting them and i'm starting to get millions of views on facebook and thousands of shares and comments and you know it's just like chemo the type where you know he he liked being dominant he liked being the one that's on top so you know we got into it we got into a little, a little disagreement because I'm just telling him, like, you can't get mad because people want to see me now. You can't get mad because he's just like, bro, I brought you in this. I made you who you is, and, and I gave you the title. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I gave you the name you got, and you feel me? I wasn't arguing with him because he said that. I'm just arguing with him about just let me win. You know what I'm saying? I've been with you for so long and helping you – do what you do. Like, nigga, you, we dance together. You get tired, I dance for you. Then you take a little break, come back in and dance. But you still get your money at the end of the day, and I'll leave with nothing. So, I mean, just let, let me win. You, you Support me like I support you. Have my back like I have your back. And you feel me? It was just so many people around us trying to turn us against each other. You know what I'm saying? And it got to a point where it got to a point where it's just like, D-Lo Sheffield was supposed to be me and Chemo Dance. We supposed to did that dance together. We was, um, when I told you I was signed to DSC, we was at Doe House making that dance together. And then we, we made like half of D-Lo Sheffield we made together, then we stopped because we started getting into it. So I think the, the biggest the biggest fallout we had was D-Lo Sheffield because after I finished it, I put it together and it it blew up and he didn't get no credit for it because I just felt like he tried to he tried to take what I earned. He tried to take he tried to take my pride and he tried to take it all away from me. So I'm like, okay, you do that and I'm 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 gonna finish this dance. I'm gonna put it out and we're gonna see what is to it. So from there, it's just been like when we see each other, we don't speak. 
You know what I'm saying? We if we get booked for the same shows, we don't say nothing to each other. So the biggest fallout we had was when after I invited him to Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey called for me. Steve Harvey didn't call for chemo and D Lo. So I'm like, man, look, I know we ain't cool. I know we ain't this and that. You feel me? I got opportunity. So we got Steve Harvey. Before the show started, I'm like, man, look, this the guy that come with me. He danced with me. So when, because I knew he was gonna bring people on, um, up there to dance with him, I'm like, make sure you call him. So he called him up there. He's like, oh, this came on D-Lo, the two dancer guys. Then that's what happened there. But it's just from that point, he was just so ungrateful, and he was just so mad at me because it was happening for me. And he felt like he worked so hard. He put bopping in this place, and he did this and that. That it's supposed to be him. But instead of him supporting me, instead of him, let's do this together and let's make this together, he tried to make it all about him. And I couldn't allow that to happen because when it was all about him, wasn't nothing happening for me. But now I'm making money. Now I'm doing shows. Now people know me. You think I want to give that up again? You think I want to go back to a nobody? I can't I can't allow you to try to take that from me. So it just from from there, it's just like you feel me? I do feel wrong for not, like, finishing D-Lo Shuffle with him. I feel like I should have did it, but I couldn't allow it to go to waste because we into it, and I couldn't allow him to 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 take that away from me. You you get what I'm saying? So I think that's that's that was the biggest fallout. D-Lo Shuffle, what made everything worse. Steve Harvey made everything worse. And then from there, it's just like people. It's people. His homies and all of them. Or whoever else around him, like man, F D Lo, you see that 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 nigga got on and left you, he left you behind. I want I want to speak on that, cause it seemed like in your voice right now, it it seemed like man, that was a real brother shit that you had with him. Yeah, it's crazy. So, and with friends like that and people like that, I mean, like you said, y'all only twenty one. So yeah. I mean, shit happens, you know. That's, so um, I mean, y'all young, y'all young, y'all get a taste. Of, I can, I know both of you get a taste of fame, get a taste of little money, and you know there's three sides of the story: your side, his side, and the truth. So with that being said, do you think it's something that you probably could have did to make things go a little sour? Yeah, I could have definitely put my pride to the side and humbled myself. I mean, when all that stuff was happening for me, I got big headed. I got too, too big headed. And I had my, my head so far up my ass, man. And I, I really could have humbled myself, and I really could have went about a lot of situations differently. I really could have made a lot of different choices. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I apologized to him before, and I apologize to him now. Pretty sure he'll see this. That's my brother. I love him to death, and I give a lot of this shit up just to have that relationship we had. You know what I'm saying? Definitely would. And I, I, I wish we could just see eye to eye and, and come to some type of agreement just to just rebuild. Man, we gave we we gave these kids hope. Us being together motivated all the kids to come together and, and tag team and do dance routines together. Anywhere I go to this day, all they say is what chemo. What chemo what? Every time, every time, and no matter what state, what city, no matter what I'm doing, somebody asks for chemo. And I'm pretty sure it's the same one his in. And I don't I don't even know what to say. I don't I don't know. I don't wanna be like I don't know. He not around. You know what I'm saying? He got a son. I got a daughter. We both got kids. You know what I'm saying? So I and I kinda beat myself up sometimes because I feel like I'm taking out of his son's mouth. And I feel like I'm taking away from his family. Being so selfish and not just being a man and just owning up to my wrongs on my on my half of, of the situation and just Making it work, making it better. It's just the pride, man. My pride is just, just, just got in the way, and it it, it really fucked up a lot. <laughs> it changed a lot, man. I was just thinking about it, man. Like two years ago, when we was together, everybody was dancing. Like man, niggas that that rap about killing people and all this, them niggas was next to us dancing. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. Them niggas was bopping like Lil Uzi. I just seen the video a, a week ago. That nigga was bopping like that nigga was bopping, and I'm looking like everybody was doing this. 
But when me and him broke up, everything went left with the, the whole bopping movement, the whole all that went left. And I, I guarantee if me and him would have stayed together, I I, I don't want to say that we was the reason why the city wasn't to where it was. But if we would have stayed together, a lot of things would be different. I think a lot of people wouldn't have chose that route. A lot of people would 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 have definitely stayed with the dancing, like um the the boy that got shot sixteen times by the police. Mm-hmm. He he was part of my group. He's part of Team Fiesta. Really? Yep. Part oh, of Team Laquan Fiesta. McDonald, yes, right? sir. Laquan McDonald. He's part of Team Fiesta. He's a dance. He's the bop with us. Wow. Then after we stopped, I know that. Started gang banging. Wow. Got into a lot of trouble. Now he dead. It's been like that with a lot of people though. A lot of people that we know used to dance with us every day. Then they like these none of these cats used to gang bang like that. They used to dance. They used to go to the war zone while I cam. They used to come in there and dance with us. Go home, make dance videos. Every all the time. And now most of these cats in jail are dead because they want to gang bang. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I just feel like if if, if we would have did that, we would have stayed together. A lot of stuff would be different. I I I kind of see you now. I see where you was going with it at first, and even like y'all would start dancing. But now I don't. See, I see the impact it has. You yeah. Know? Even with his little chemo, I done seen his little dance school thing he used to do. Uh-huh. Like just keeping kids out of out of out of trouble. Yeah. You know, and I think I don't know. I think y'all should y'all should do something. Y'all need to come back. Y'all need to do something because people need alternatives, and that's what's wrong with the Chicago music scene right now. We don't. They don't have no alternatives or anything. I mean, it sounds so easy. <laughs> it sounds super easy, but I, I know, man. Shit's so difficult, man. So difficult, especially now. It's, it's gonna, it's hard. I mean, like I said, I, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. I swear, it's my last time trying. I can't keep get rejected. Sincerely, get rejected. Like I'm, I'm sincerely trying to make it work, and I, I can't keep trying to do it and keep getting rejected. Like. I'm gonna try though. I want. I want to see because I. I know. We can help. <laughs> we can make a difference. Our voice is strong together. My voice by myself, and his voice by itself. Yeah, it, it'll echo, but it won't be that strong. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word?